British Consul Ghana has been in existence since 1943. For the past seven decades, the organization has been dedicated to promoting culture, diversity and arts of the United Kingdom and Ghana. With the main office located in a multilingual city of Accra, we have another office in Kumasi, in the heart of the Ashanti region, where we operate in uniformity and understand the dynamics of both cities. With a global network of offices in over 109 countries around the world, we belong to a regional group of 19 countries in Africa. That is Nigeria, Botswana, Cameroon, Eritrea, Ethiopia, Ghana, Kenya, Malawi, Mauritius and Mozambique. The rest are Senegal, Sierra Leone, South Africa, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, Zambia and Zimbabwe. The British Council has been in Ghana for over 70 years. It's a, it's a landmark institution. It's one that is recognized throughout the country and one that has been recognized for the work that it has done over the last 70 years. Um, first of all, the British Council is really about, is about people. Everything that um, we do is about people. It's about development of people, development of their capacity, developing institutions and the people that are within those institutions. In Ghana, strategic issues that most impact our work are the huge demand for learning opportunities across our target groups at both individual and institutional levels, coupled with a limited opportunity for those demands to be met. Though that may be the case, we have worked tirelessly to project Ghana and UK education. Our work in exams provides Ghanaians with access to educational prospects networking and cultural exchange. Last year, for instance, we delivered over 10,000 exams to more than 5,000 Ghanaians. British Council Kumasi plays a vital role in the Ghana Directorate. It's, it serves the needs of those in the northern region, the Ashanti region, the Bronga Hafo, Upper East, Napa West region. And what's more, we are currently working with our partners to offer even better products and activities to meet increasing candidates and stakeholder expectations. Undoubtedly for years, UK education has opened up to Ghana, Africa and the world with a package worth experiencing. Through our exhibition project, a number of Ghanaians have had the opportunity to gain UK qualifications in the UK and this has given them a competitive edge in the job market both locally and internationally. Being a UK alumni myself, I can tell you that the UK offers varied opportunities for young people hoping to study or gain UK qualifications. The UK is home to many cultures with over 100 cultures or people from over 100 countries represented. It offers a variety of food from around the globe. There are lots of tourist attractions or sites that you can visit in the cities, in the countryside and at the seaside. Also, it offers many opportunities to engage and entertain you whilst you are there. Shopping, arts, sports, theatre, you name it, you've got it in the UK. And for the UK education, it's diversity broad educational background and also the strong link between academia and industry is a unique feature that provides and offers value for money for students and also for people who seek to engage these people. On the scholarship front, we are torchbearers in managing and administering competitive packages for our target group. We have over 40 years experience in scholarship management within Sub-Saharan Africa and globally. Having administered such schemes as the Ford Foundation Program, the Commonwealth Scholarship and the prestigious Shevening Program, we have an unrivaled record of working with young people and successor generations in Africa and beyond through the provision of educational opportunities and skills development. In Ghana, we currently manage the Challenge Scholarship, the Tullow 
Taylor Group Scholarship Scheme and the Commonwealth Scholarship. This culminates in over 70 awards a year. We work equally to continue to provide higher education partnerships between industry and academia, both in Ghana and in the UK, helping to influence policy and encourage research at all levels. An even more attractive package is the exacting TV reality show, The Challenge, which seeks to award first degree holders with a first class or second APA an opportunity to compete for a postgraduate degree in their prestigious UK university. Other areas of our work which focuses on professional and personal development, recently in partnership with Barclays Bank, introduced an entrepreneurial training program, Blazing Trails. As a head of programs, overseeing the delivery of various projects and programs in the British Council, working on our recent youth skills development program, which is called the Blazing Trails. This program is being delivered in partnership with the Barclays Bank, and through which we aim to develop employable skills among 2,000 youth to help them develop livelihoods for themselves. Currently, about 1,600 applicants have received quality training from our seasoned facilitators. British Council Ghana sees the potential in ICT education and with help from Microsoft, launched Badiliko as a project in aid of a school's network. It's a Swahili word meaning change or shift. It is implemented as part of a global agreement between Microsoft and the British Council. It aims to build skills for global economy through innovative teaching and learning in Sub-Saharan Africa, based on a huge potential of ICT to meet educational goals and targets across schools in Africa. School leaders and teacher ambassadors will be trained at the digital hubs with a focus on the integration of ICT into teaching and learning. In Ghana, we have established 23 digital hubs, providing access to schools and communities around the country. So far, 3,000 school leaders and teachers have been trained, and the project will aim at reaching over 100,000 learners by promoting literacy throughout schools and communities where the hubs are located. Our members of staff are a committed lot who understand the essence of their collective and crucial roles played within the organization. Most importantly, delivering quality customer service and maintaining a professional relationship with clients and customers. Good customer service is the hallmark of every successful organization and British Council is not an exception. The essence of our existence is tied to the satisfaction of our customers and that is what we've been doing all these years. How do we do it? Anytime a customer comes to us, we pay attention, we show we are listening, we provide feedback and respond appropriately. Actually, in 2010, when the country organized its first customer service celebration, British Council was awarded the leaders in customer service. In other words, rather than just meeting the expectation of our customers, we intend to exceed their expectation. And that is the future for British Council, customer delight. Aside nurturing talents, our doors have always been open to inherent potentials in people and that has culminated in a strong family of former staff who though have moved on to other organizations allude the success to time spent with British Council. I worked here in early 2008 until early 2011 as, the, as a project delivery manager. Um, on the start of that, I remember that I was in charge of um, setting up the um, PD Centre, which became a training hub. I was equally managing um, some other projects aside examinations. The British Council has really been an organisation I have really learned a lot. It has given me an opportunity in as much as I thought that I was giving other people that opportunity the Council seeks to give. Little did I know that I was actually developing myself in the process. So um, I wasn't a business student but the Council made me a business student. The beautiful part was that the Council gives you lots of tools I took advantage of all those tools which you would find on the internet, on the internet, through face-to-face uh, -face training, through direct engagement, all of that. And for me it was quite useful. It's been fantastic working at the British Council and all the tools keep living on with me. They're rewards for life. In effect, the content of our projects and programs focus on the creative economy and its impact on culture and society. British Council's ability to act as a catalyst in developing interactive systems in society has provided an unmistakable platform to reach more people.
as we celebrate on our 70th anniversary in Ghana, we look further into the future and only see triumphs and realizations that await the organizations and its people. We are a proud people to join hands and scream. Yeah.